there's a very important thing that we all need to understand before going on with understanding apex triggers if some automation can be done with the help of point and click tools which is workflows process builder flows or uh, this uh, approval process or something like that we actually do not need to create an apex trigger right so until unless there is a requirement that can't be fulfilled with uh, what do we say uh, the point and click tools till then we do not actually have to go and write down an apex trigger try to write down as much automation as you can with the help of point and click tools only and if and only if they are not sufficient to solve a particular problem or to do a particular automation then only go for apex triggers now in talking about different types of triggers which is before trigger and after trigger we need to understand when do we need to write down a before trigger and when do we need to write down an after trigger and it's very simple by the way let me tell you what that is in order to uh, like uh, whenever we want to update a particular fields value or if we want to validate a record uh, like with the help of the values which are stored in the related records or something like that if you just want to validate the record before it gets inserted or updated into the database we need to write down the before triggers right so there are two use cases of writing down the before trigger number one whenever we want to update a particular field or number two uh, yeah when we want to update a particular field and number two is whenever we want to validate the records these are the two most uh, commonly used scenarios for before triggers or for writing before triggers the situation in which we need to use an after trigger is a situation in which we need uh, some system defined values of the record which got inserted into the database or got updated into the database like the record id or last modified uh, date or time or something like that system mod time or something like that we need some values which are defined by the system only uh, and that can only be defined once a record gets inserted into the database uh, in that case we need to write down the after triggers in after trigger we can also make changes to the other records uh, of different different objects or of the same object but cannot make any change onto the record which initiated the execution of the trigger and the reason behind that is very simple the record which initiates a trigger execution is read only in the after trigger 